Hello, I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this video I am going to show you exactly why it's important to produce podcasts with two or more channels and not one. Okie dokie, let's get into it and check out what we've got here. Well, we've got a few examples, as you can see, a podcast that has been produced on a wonderful a Zoom recorder, track one and track two, so uh, the host and the co-host. Uh, and this example here is one channel. Whoa! <laughs> it's a big block of audio. Uh, and you can definitely see there are two different people speaking. Uh, I can tell that already from the waveform because one is really blocky and one is a bit more dynamic and quieter. Uh, now, the problem I'm going to have here... It was A, so I'm just going to humble myself and do A. There's the first one. Because, you know, I've lived in the States. And, and there's the second uh, uh, speaker or... <laughs> host. Um, so what is difficult here when you've only got one channel is to even out both of those hosts. Okay, that's going to be really difficult because you have to really apply different processing effects uh, to each person. And in order to do this, you could really do with two channels. I'll show you how that works in just a moment. Uh, but here, um, if I try and apply something, this, as you can see, that this host, I'm guessing the lead host, is already really well compressed. This one, not so much. So if I add a compressor here, it's going to really harshly compress uh, the first host uh, and only just suck up the second guest. Let's have a listen now. Amplitude and compression, single band compressor. Let's go into the preview window. So you see, uh, yeah, already I'm adding a little bit of light compression there and it's sucking up this one, but uh, this is getting really, really harshly compressed. So the more I do this and the more aggressive I go with my threshold and ratio, see it levels it out. Oh, you think I'm going to do A? Well, I'm going to do B, C and X just because you said A. <laughs> and you can hear yeah. how that sounds better. You're really having to understand yourself enough But once to it gets go, to, let's just fast forward a little bit to the uh, the second speaker, you'll hear how this sounds different. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, obviously, Regina, I can't, like, I cannot really feel what you're feeling. So as you can hear, there are different sounds on the different microphones. Possibly these hosts are in different positions, uh, in maybe in different parts of the globe. So one microphone has an echo, one not so much. One is better EQ'd, one not so much. Uh, it's, it's an issue. And as a podcast producer, you'd have to go through bit by bit and kind of manually just change uh, as each speaker. It would be a real painful process. So let me show you why having two tracks is brilliant. Now I can go into the multi-track. And we'll call this two track podcast. Uh, you can do this, as you can see, on a Zoom recorder, on a mixing desk with more than one channel and two microphones, uh, or with yourself uh, recording onto one channel and Skype. I've demonstrated that in a previous video actually on my channel just recently, so you might want to check that out. Uh, now, what I can do, actually, let's start a new session without my Pro Podcast presets. So you can just hear how I might work with this dual track. And I'll drag these both in, one on track one, one on track two. And now you can clearly see that this is one host speaking, this is another host speaking. Let's have a listen. Okay, and so you took the money and then they did what? Build their own mask. Most of the, both of them wanted to build Batman. And as you can, might have identified there, that is the legendary Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com uh, speaking here on this podcast episode. So what Pat's done, as you can clearly hear and see on track one and track two, uh, it's got himself on track one recording his audio uh, here on the Zoom recorder and then the co-host here on track two, again, on a different microphone. Now, what you will see, because they are in the same room, uh, you can you can pick up a little bit of the co-host audio on track one and you'll get a little bit of the main host audio here on track two, but that's okay. Now I have flexibility to do things like this. So I can, um, I can cut out here uh, and I can cut out here and I can do some nice cool crossfades. So I'm just gonna focus on this section of audio. I can now zoom in, I can do fade outs like that, and I can do fade ins like this, fade outs like that, and fade ins like that. So we'll get a nice clean cut now uh, between both hosts. Both of them did it. Okay, and so you took the money and then they did what? build their own mask most of the both of so there you go that is absolutely fantastic it gives me creative freedom now uh, to first of all say well actually uh, the host on track two is louder than the host on track one so i'm going to match all their audio levels with match clip loudness like so minus 16 luffs now we should get this all sounding equally the same volume give it a second to kick in both of them did it okay and so you took the money and then they did what 
build their own mask. Most of them. So you can actually see now that, uh, and what I'm going to do is just run that again uh, on a shorter piece of audio so we get a, a more accurate uh, volume matching. Let's have a listen. 10 bucks because both of them did it. Okay, and so you took the money and then they did what? Build their own mask. Most of them. So as you can hear now, the volume levels are matching. There's no need to worry about going through and manually editing a whole podcast. You can do it right here on two tracks. And now I can go through on each track and I can add specific EQs, parametric equalizers here uh, for different hosts. So I can uh, maybe I want to add a little bit of extra. Okay, and so you took the money and then they did. I want to add a little bit of extra treble here on this host and on this host I might go in and set up a separate parametric equalizer and again we'll use this setting for instance. Well, 10 bucks because both of them did it. Okay and so you took the money. And it's totally possible so two tracks definitely superior to one track. I hope that when you're recording you either use an audio interface with the opportunity to do that or of course you can use a zoom recorder, uh, any recorder which has dual or quadruple inputs uh, or loopback facilities when you're recording Skype. Just make sure if at all possible when you're recording a podcast uh, to lay down as many tracks as you are recording hosts. And if you want us to take all the pain away from your podcast production, we'd love to work with you here at Music Radio Creative. Just head over to musicradiocreative.com forward slash podcast dash production to find out about more about what we do here at Music Radio Creative. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,